the village perishes, India will perish too. The man who said this was known to millions as Bapu, father, father of the Indian nation. In 1931, Mr. Gandhi, in loincloth and sandals, arrived in Europe from India. His party included a goat. As a strict vegetarian, goat's milk was his chief source of protein. On landing, a journalist asked what he thought of Western civilization. It would be very nice, he replied. In London, he insisted on living in the East End among the poor. But he had come for the round table conference in Whitehall as the sole representative of India's Congress party, which for 10 years he had led in a struggle against British rule in India. He also insisted on a weekend visit to the north, to Lancashire, where unemployment had been made considerably worse by his boycott of British cloth in India. You have three million unemployed, he told them. We have 300 million. 